Welcome. I'm at the airport. Just grab the airport. And look at what we have here. Oh yes. I'm gonna drive this now. This new Supra. Alright, uh, hello. Hey. Bro, hey. hello, hello. Hey. Hi, hey. hi. Hey. Thanks, thanks. Hey. I sign up here, right? Yes. Okay. But the event is tonight, ma, right? Not tonight, tonight. Okay. yes. Right. Now it's thank for you. the test drive. Right? Okay, thank you. So this is the indemnity form for the All right. Event. Isn't this exciting? The new Supra. So the launch is tonight. And uh, look at that, they have the 2000 GT over there. All right. Oh, look at this car. Sorry BMW, this looks so much better than the Z4. So let's have a look at the wheels. These are Michelin Pilot Super Sport. These are PSS. Now if you thought that the PS4S replaces the PSS, technically yes in the consumer market, but actually the PSS is sportier than the PS4S. Alright, that's the front. Lovely, lovely looking car. That LED strip is very long, huh? So I guess all of us have seen enough videos on the internet about this car, about these fake vents, supposedly. But behind the vents, there are actually pass-throughs. So what Toyota did is, um, they covered it because of aerodynamic reasons, because of um, uh, benchmark testing, fuel consumption and all that. But actually when you start modifying your car, you can remove the vents and they work. All right. Even this one as well. It's fake now, but doesn't mean it's covered underneath. Even these ones. So that's what Toyota promised. You can start modifying your car. You know, tuners can come out with kits that can replace all that. The tail end is just gorgeous. The tail end of this car is beautiful. All right. The vents over there as well. Uh, the tail lights are actually aerodynamic and they extend out. So that's the end of the era whereby the bodywork covers the, the, the headlamps or tail lamps, right? This huge diffuser, huge exhaust, these are superb, right? Are those the third braking lights? No, that, that would be that. Very good looking car. Very, very good looking. It's Gun from Pandulaju. Hi! Hello! Okay. Hello! Hello. That's a very familiar previous generation non M Sport BMW steering wheel. <laughs> this is very familiar switch gear. So as we know, this car is a collaboration between Toyota and BMW, more like a uh, BMW actually loaned the whole platform to Toyota to create the Supra. So the aircon controls, these buttons, are they touch sensitive? <laughs> because in the BMW, this is touch sensitive. All right, so close message, touch sensitive as well. Oh yes, this is as well, touch sensitive. This is a BMW system, in and out. This gear lever is interesting. I like this more than what BMW is making. Very nice, small, short. Uh, there's a compartment here, I think it's a wireless charger and there's like a like a small space where you can slot your phone in and it sits tightly in there. Okay, carbon fiber over here. <coughs> Cup holders, there's a lot of space to put stuff. Very nice. The box. The screen is nice. The steering wheel is not the M Sport one. This, that, that's a bit dis disappointing and this part is huge. Uh, this part is not open so you can slot your fingers through. This is unique to this car. Everything else is BMW switch gear. This, is, this comes from new BMWs. This steering wheel comes from the, the, the older ones. Um, but all in all, this is the Supra. This is nice. And I can't wait to uh, drive it later. Alright, let's have a look at the engine. Very stuck in there. The car is relatively small. It's about the size of an 86. Alright, that's the lovely Supra batch over there. And, yep. Straight six, three liter turbo and uh, from a lot of reports it has been proven that Toyota down claimed the horsepower so even though on paper it shows less horsepower than the BMW Z4 but it actually produces more and it's actually faster can't wait to drive it wonder what's the price they'll be selling it for especially love the tail end that haunch at the back and then the ducktail spoiler is lovely 
All right. Help me to drive it. Thank you. Go left, right? Yeah, go left. Right guys, I'm in the Supra. I forgot to get your name. Chris. Chris, hi. <laughs> That's Chris. He's the instructor. Do we go slow? Yeah, go straight. Go through that. Uh, Alright. To be honest, it feels like a BMW. <laughs> and switch gears. But you would find that the gear change, right? Yeah. They make it much different. Alright. How they tune the gear change. We've seen all the reports that this 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 thing kills the Z4, even though it has less horsepower. Do I cross it? Yeah. Cross it right? All right. Are we in? Oh, the exhaust notes is nice. Okay, here, make a left. Make a left turn. Yes. First exercise is the brakes to avoid. You guys hear that? Engineered crackles and pops. Here, brakes yes. to avoid. Do I stop first? Uh, you can stop first. Uh, stop. Target speed is uh, 80 kmh. Okay. And the white to the left. Uh, after I go into the cone, yes. turn left, huh? Left. So this is at the sportier setting. Yes, it's sports mode. There's only one sports mode, uh, right? They only have sports and sports individual. Sport and sport individual. And then if I push this to the left, I get sport shifting. Oh, yes. only manual. Only manual. BMW, you push to the left, it's sports. S1. Uh, S1. This one, you push to the left, it's straight away. Manual. Bang. Yes. So I leave this, will be sport transmission. Yes. So I can floor it now. Correct. All right, let's do this. Oh, the response. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Very sharp. Oh. I said it's totally different from Crap. This is sharp. Steering is direct. Oh my God. Okay, where do I go now? Okay, here. It's yep. a low speed slalom. Get used to the steering. Yeah. Steering ratio is 15 to one. Yeah. Slightly slower than the BRZ. All right. Let's so do that. Cam, 40 cam inch. I can go faster. Very good! Oh, 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 what do I do? Straight. Uh, next oh. is the 0 to 100 test and then top speed run, high speed run. <laughs> do I go from here? Uh, no, we we'll launch from there. Alright. Oh, we're gonna do launch. Uh, not, not, no the la. not the launch control. Launch control, but just a launch. Does it involve left boot braking? No need. <laughs> we need to keep the car for the other guys. Yeah, so yeah, let's not destroy the car. Huh? 0 to 100, 4.3. Damn! And, uh, we managed to reach 220. Let's just keep an eye on the heads up display. See All what right. Can get. All right, are we? Yeah, good to go. Let's go. Oh, it pulls strong. What is the rated horsepower? 335 on paper. Nonsense! Lying! This is faster than my S4, faster than my 6 Series. No, it's fast. It's not 330. Oh my god. It goes quick. It goes really quick. The brakes are good. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Very well sorted. Okay, I dare to go faster in this than the Ferrari GDC Volvo. So, right here. Okay. Number four is Lalom in 70 kmh. 70 kmh. If you keep it nice and smooth, it's yep. planted. If you suddenly flick it, the tail will step on. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> so you can get the tail to come up as and when you want. Oh my so god. So Do I go again? Go, yes. 70 kmh. It makes nice noise. It's the right size. Let me see. Nothing obstructing me. Lovely. Is it more fun than the Cayman? Yes. Yes. Why it makes the right noise? Damn. It's like 600k. 600ish k. So it's like Airbus. Same Airbus. Anna Airway. And then the fans are. Wow, like that also can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But the gear change you have to see is totally different from what BMW would do. Damn, it's sharp. It's sharp. Damn. Do I go? Uh, we're waiting for one more car to Alright, 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 alright. So the interior feels a bit of a. You see, the door panels feels Toyota. Some of it. 
No, actually. Okay, this Put that aside. BMW. Oh, that's the keys from BMW. But I mean, let's 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 put it this way. Let's accept the fact that car makers collaborate now. All right. But if the outcome is something like that, why not? Why not? All right. Oh. Great steering Damn, feel. Damn. Damn. It's a very very well sorted car. Let me try and lower the seating position. Let's see how far I can go. Very nice. This is a bit fat. This is the older one, not the M Sport steering wheel. But nevertheless, it's alright. Still a bit of headroom left for helmet. But it's just getting in with the helmet is a bit troublesome. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty low. Uh, yeah. Covers down below. But I hate helmets anyway. <laughs> but I'm lucky. A lot of track days, right? Mm. Uh, Organised by car makers. My head don't fit. Okay. So, so they let you run without a helmet? Yeah, okay. even in, in, in Audi's test track in, in, in Germany, they have a form for me to sign because mm -hmm. they don't have a helmet that, that can fit my head. Mm -hmm. At Sepang, I need double XL with a, with a pad, with uh, a foam taken out. Just to fit? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no one coming? Uh. Do we go? KZ, do you think we can go? I don't see Tim. It's nice. It is nice. This car is nice. Okay, by default, even though I didn't do anything sport mode. Remember BMW has the the the, 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 the sort of like a level one traction control off where they let the tail go out, the fun one? Yes, this is it. It's almost like the sport plus. So the sport of this car is the default sport plus of the old BMW. It's not the new ones. The new ones they don't have that anymore. But I like it. I like it. Okay, good to go okay. once he passes you. Alright. Just to be safe, in case I go out, he comes over and then we crash. Okay, let's do this. Look at it, guys. It's very, very stable. Of course, I need to put my hands there. But I'm just trying to show you guys that this is a very well-sorted car. That you can do highway drives, you can do high-speed cruising. Thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Lovely. Okay, let's talk about something. Can BMW build a very, very sharp handling sports car? Of course they can. They are BMW. Right? Can Toyota do that? Yes, of course. Can Nissan? Can Mazda? Can all of them do all this? They have years and years of racing experience. They know what shit they are into. Alright? Then why is it that this Supra can have this sort of performance and widely reported all over the world that it's a better drive than the Z4? All right? I haven't driven the new Z4 but Bing has driven it. You can watch her review. I'm sure it's a very nice car. I'm sure it's a sporty handling car. But the, uh, the usual modern BMW characteristics are there, right? How they map the gearbox, how they make the engine behave and all that are, are definitely there. But why is it that then, that everybody around the world is reporting that this Supra basically outhandles, outperforms the Z4? 
right? They remap the transmission, they do a lot of their own changes. I think I have the answer. It's about hierarchies, right? The Z4 is a normal run-of-the-mill car. It's not even an M version. Uh, BMW isn't even sure that they'll, they'll make an M version of the Z4, all right? So you have the M3, you have the M2, you have the M5, you have M6, you have these kind of cars, the IAs and all that. Will BMW go all out to make the Z4 out-handle all of them? BMW couldn't. Why? Because it sits somewhere in the hierarchy. Whereas this one, currently, Toyota no longer builds the, the LFA, right? The LC sits in the Lexus. So within the Toyota company, this is their best, most expensive, they are all out, they are flagship, they are iconic Supra and it carries the Supra badge. So what this means is that Toyota can do whatever they want on this car without any worry of it overshadowing any other siblings in this, car, in this company. So they can give it the best tuning in terms of the steering, in terms of suspension, in terms of everything. So this one, and this is the reason why. You look at how the hierarchy thing is true. Look at Porsche. The Cayman could any time uh, out, outperform the, the 911 in terms of their performance range, right? GD4 and all that, but they always keep it there. And this one has no such concern. That's why this is absolutely brilliant, all right? The drive is just fantastic. The moment you hop out the car, you whack the throttle a little bit, right? you would have noticed the response, all right? And then you will notice the sound, you will notice the crackles. Then when you turn the steering wheel, uh, there's a lot of feel, and then you go into your first sharp dive, you're like, damn, this is a great car. And then you go all out accelerating, the way it picks up gear, the way it picks up speed, and then when you brake, do a full braking, all these extremely well sorted. That's the reason why. There's no worry of hierarchical overshadowing. This is a brilliant car. Cheers, guys.